Hello everyone, welcome to another session with me. I am Sayukta Saxena and this is the second uh, series, second uh, session on uh, a new series that we are running uh, which is about Bijuism flashcards and we will be mainly concentrating or revolving around the Tangle Mocha. Right? So we'll focus more on the Tangle Mocha and we'll add a few more tangles pr probably. Right? So we have already done one uh, which was focus. Today we will do innovate. Right? So this is the flashcard. I already uh, explained to you the size and the other parameters. Let us first understand what are we going to draw today. A different version of Mocha also called as flu. Right? So that version of Mooka starts with a fescue. So I'm not uh, doing the pod here. The Mooka head is done away with, right? And I'm starting with a fescue. I'm then just going to aura it like this. So this is another version of Mooka. It is drawn just the way we draw Mooka. You can call it a simpler version of Mooka. And it is called flu, right? It is also known by a different name in the entangled world which is flu. So we just draw these fescues thus the way we draw our mocha unfurled, infurled, yeah, just the same way, just that we don't draw the traditional mocha just the way we draw like this. We are not going to draw mocha like this or we are not going to add those pod heads, right? We are just going to stick to fescue, right? Another version is fluish, right? Which also again starts with this flu and an aura, right? And then you add more auras like this, right? So this version of mocha, because it starts like mocha only and it grows like mocha only, is called fluish. Right? So flu and fluish basically grow in the same fashion like mocha, drawn in the same way like mocha. <coughs> However, in Zentangle they are also called as the tangles flu and fluish. Right? So I'm just going to add auras like this. Right? And some auras like this. Right? and it becomes fluish, right? So today we'll be playing around this version of Mocha. There's a, another version, this flu can also be drawn like this. Add a printum kind of shape at the end and then add an aura, just like you aura the fescue and this becomes flu again, but with a variation, right? So these are all very much like mocha because they are drawn or they grow just like mocha or maybe hollis right so you can draw them just in the same fashion just like hollis or just like mocha and they share the same characteristics and uh, they also have a name called flu or fluish right so let us play with these tangles today <coughs> So I have this flashcard in front of me and I have drawn a shape here, like right? just like a flag, right? And I'm going to leave that space empty and use some watercolors in the outside. So I have a mix of watercolor pencils here. So they are four colors. So I'm going to, <coughs> you know, add start from the darkest and go on to the lightest, right? So you can choose your uh, colors. Uh, the colors that you feel like doing, right? I thought of adding these colors. So just going to leave the space like that and add color on the outside, starting with the darkest. Yeah, so I'm going to add a thick layer of this dark shade looks like some shade of purple <coughs> so these are watercolor pencils I'm going to use water and spread this color and then I am shifting to another shade which is a little lighter I think some shade of red
Yeah. <clears throat> So today we are going to use the scoring tool inside. So I'm going to write inside and then use the scoring tool to add a background to the inside of the, the section that I've drawn. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've added one more layer here. Then I'll move on to third, which is more pinkish. So not thinking much here, just adding colors that I felt like and going to start with that only and we'll see if we want to do something else. And finally moving on to some orange. So you can also use your color panel, just wet the flashcard and then you can just dab colors. I think I did that in one of the sessions. So that's also possible. I don't have liquid watercolors, so if you have them, please use that. It's much easier. I don't use colors much, so I don't have it. Right, so now that we have added the pencils, now you can either use a brush or your brush pen and just blend it. Yeah. So it would be a good idea to use it around this space that you want to leave empty for your writing, for your bijouism. And then you can use a wider brush to just blend. Yeah. So I'll pick up my different brush and then just blend. So this is a exercise that we are doing to add a nice background color to our tangling and you can do it in a number of different ways. This is one of the ways to go about doing it Depend depending on what colors do you have, what kind of colors. I find it very comfortable to work with watercolor pencils so I generally use them only. <coughs> so adding those different shades just you know gives those layers of colors which would otherwise be difficult to create but when you do it this way it is easier yeah so that's about it I'm not going to blend more let it dry so the color has dried up and now we can start with tangling right away Right, so let us start from one side. I'm using my O1. Let's see if uh, we can draw over the color with this comfortably. Otherwise, we can always change our pen. Right, so I have started with this fescue shape. I'm now going to aura it closely. Again, draw my fescue just like I draw mocha. Again, aura it. 
closely so you have a space here now it is up to you what do you want to do you can add something like bunzo inside like this right so we just started now let us dwell on it again the same flu right again you can draw infold unfold whichever way you draw muka you can do the same exercise with this also right so you can add ops <coughs> you can add different angles here right so again you can introduce some more tangles extending going further so this is basically a simpler version of mocha there is a tangle called evoke which again is drawn like this only so there are lot of overlaps as far as the entangle is concerned but little bit of difference between each one of them as you draw yeah small rounding orbs here and there auras and you can add different kind of things right so i'm going to now move on to fluish uh i'm sorry not fluish yeah fluish yeah <clears throat> so fluish would be with some auras yeah so i'm going to draw like this right and then i'm going to <coughs> add auras like this starting from almost the same place and coming down and then same thing on the other side so it almost looks like a curled up mocha you know mocha just curling up inside <coughs> something like that so you can always add small little things here and there take your time and just gently dwell upon your mocha yeah again i'll draw another fluish some more us from the back this is just the way we do in 3d mocha somewhat similar you can add as many as you want there is no rule here yeah 
so I'm going to continue like this <coughs> again you can also add this head just like you do on sprinkle yeah so that's one more variation that you can bring about very comfortably to your mocha So the strokes are very similar to the way we draw mocha and that's why <coughs> you can call it a variation of mocha. So these small little hearts that I am inserting in between is basically a pattern called luva. You can also draw poke leaves oak roots anything that comes easily to you this is just an example yeah so <coughs> what comes easily to you please go with that tangle so I'm now going to extend my flu probably like this and then some from above so nice <coughs> organic tangle to work with so we can add some unfold ones go slow take your time build on it don't be in a hurry just go with the flow see what kind of spaces you have see how you can <coughs> place your flows there place your mochas there right again some touch of bunzo so small little things that you can add which will you know add to the look of your card so I will not be combining too many tangles yeah but yes a few tangles probably here and there so you can nicely aura this shape so auraing is a very integral part right <coughs> some fescues some mops Yeah, so I'm just going to now go further, continue in the same way and use the same version of Mocha for today. Nicely alright till the end. Again, go back. Again, all right. Again, one from here. Again, all right. So, those who find it difficult to, you know, draw mocha initially, this is generally a simpler version of mocha. Once you are comfortable with the flow, then probably you can come back to the pod heads and other things, yeah? <coughs> so again, we have spaces here. You can insert patterns. Or you can just aura the space. 
can also add something like enzeppel yeah so just add some sections and then order the sections independently it looks nice crazy enzeppel So once you start drawing, the tangles will automatically start flowing. You will understand where, what looks nice. And some of it does come with practice. Yeah, so you can add one here. <coughs> so rounding is a nice thing to do. As far as this mocha is concerned, you can see I am adding small little weight at the corners and at the crossings. Yeah, so that's about that's called rounding, and it is a nice thing to do as far as this version of mocha or flu is concerned. Yeah. So let us now proceed further here. So I am now going to add some fluish. So fluish I will not aura till down. I am going to stop here and then rotate and then add the auras. So everyone would draw it differently. There are so many ways to go about drawing this pattern also. Yeah, so yeah and then one more like this and then aura and then these auras And then some from the other side. Yeah. <coughs> and you can add small little orbs here to pull. Or you can add auras, you can add printums, anything. Yeah, so it looks like mocha only, just that it has a variation. <coughs> so going to again draw some flu here. So play around with the curves, create nice shapes inside, it's real fun. This tangle has so many possibilities. Yeah. can also add something like this yeah again another stem Again, you can add some example just the way we did earlier yeah 
So I'm going to continue like this. I think you got a little idea about how, right? So I'm adding an apple here. You can also add some night spread inside if you want. If you create a nice big section inside, yeah. Probably I'll do that here. Because again, as I mentioned earlier also, some bit of inking will always add to the look. So, Night's Bridge is a nice pattern to, you know, add inside this heart shape that is formed by the mochas or the flu. So, once you have created that heart shape, you can also add senna or something like that. So many tangles, right? So whatever comes easily to you, just go with that. Since I'm concentrating on mocha here, so I'm not going into uh, tangles like senna and other things. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep it simple. But night spread is a nice pattern which will add drama and it is simple at the same time. So just like a checkerboard, I'll color the inside, ink the inside, alternate squares. So we have almost uh, covered three-fourth of the section with our tangle flu, right? Now I'll add a different tangle in this part, right? Probably extend this one a little more and then introduce a tangle called dex in the rest of the section. right so continuing in the same fashion added some flu <coughs> going to just close it here somewhere and then introduced one more pattern called decks Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Right? So I'm going to stop my Muka here. So what I'm doing here inside is etching or thatching, yeah. And now I'm going to draw some lines, right? So I will draw a grid since Dex is a grid-based pattern. So you can choose any other tangle of your choice. I feel like using the pattern decks here. So drawing a square grid first. So there are different ways to go about drawing this pattern. Right. And now I'm going to insert <coughs> a box inside each of these squares like this. You can even insert a bigger box. I think bigger would be a better idea. Right? Like this. So I will do that inside each of the sections. Yeah. I'm almost finishing inking the boxes. Squares inside each of the squares. Yeah. 
so now we just have to connect these four corners with the corners of the bigger square that's about it yeah so I'm going to add a slight curve so it's always a good idea to combine organic and non-organic tangles together so together they look pretty nice completely geometrical tangle or completely organic compared to that this is a better option I think <laughs> where you have a mix of but again depends on your mood your choice of tangles your go to tangles so I'm just going to continue like this join the four corners of the inner square with the outer square like this yeah so almost done with that exercise and now the last thing is to add some lines on two sides right so choose any two sides and add some lines like these to complete your tangle text yeah so or are two sides like this Right, so I'll continue like this. Yeah. So almost finishing here on the last section, adding those lines. Yeah, and we are done. Right, so let us now move on to shading. So it's pretty simple as far as shading your uh, flu is concerned or mocha which are derived from the fescues right so you just if there is something inside you just shade that otherwise you just shade the places from where the lines are emanating right so that's the best way to go about shading it yes if you have something inside then probably the shading may vary otherwise it's generally the places from where lines are emerging yeah so not too much of shading required there <coughs> can add some rounding here and there always a good idea so again fluish good idea to shade on this line point from where lines are emanating and this top section yeah So take your time, pick up each and shade. Nicely. You can also highlight places here because the background color is such. Yeah. It will 
give you some opportunity for highlights also so probably we'll use our chalk also so continuing with my shading in the same fashion highlighting places from where lines are emerging lines are merging so that's generally the most common way to go about shading Spaces are small, so don't add too much of graphite, just a touch. <clears throat> you can always add some embellishment inside these fluish also. Yeah, so again, nice bridge you can stuck in the edges. Leave the center the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about shading our mochas. Going to decks, the two sides that you have already added lines to, just add some graphite there. And you are done. Yeah, so just blend the graphite, darken that side a little more, although adding auras have already darkened it, but I've added graphite also on the same two sides. Just blending okay. 
right so done with the shading let us now add a little chalk since the color in the background does give that opportunity so I'm going to add some chalk here and there starting with the Knight's Bridge so you can highlight the center where you have not added much graphite right <coughs> you can add some highlights here if it is visible I don't think it is visible much but if you want you can <coughs> at times the chalk doesn't work very well on watercolor so you can also use your watercolor white pencil right so I'm just giving touches here and there not much really right and you can always highlight I don't think it is showing much so I'll probably switch to my watercolor pencil and try and add some whiteness to my decks just highlight a little the other side yeah <coughs> just a slight highlight not much yeah and I think we are done more or less yeah some bit of graphite here and there yeah that's about it so let us now write inside innovate yeah so I'm going to write innovate here yeah simple I am sure you can do a better job I have told you this <laughs> n number of times I am not a calligrapher right so I am just doing the basic uh, just use your calligraphy skills write innovate beautifully yeah and then what I am going to do is use my scoring tool which we used in the first section also and add some printums by pressing it hard right so just creating an embossing on my tile or on my flashcard using this scoring tool I'm not sure if it is yeah now it is visible yeah so I am going to do that in the leftover spaces throughout and then add grays and shade it right So just pick up a simple tangle you can also use some line based tangle entirely up to you
doing the same exercise throughout. Even if you put tipple, I think it will look nice because this tool is amazing. Yeah, I think we are done. So I'll now add some graphite at the edges. And then just blend it with a soft hand. Just pull the graphite from the edges so it gives a nice background to your bijouism. Just blend yeah and we are done yeah I want to add a little more darkness at the edges you can do that so the paper will look curled up in the center. So I hope you are enjoying the series and you are learning more of the pattern mocha more variations more ways to play around with the pattern so do post your comments i look forward to seeing them reading them right so that's our flashcard for today and i'll see you again with another version of mocha and a new bijuism right till then have a good time bye bye